Welcome back to IBM Business Automation Studio, your one-stop shop for creating and managing business automation projects. In this demo, we'll see how a business user creates a mortgage approval app based on a template created by a more technical user. You can download the mortgage approval sample assets to try this yourself. Just click the link in the description. Let's get started. First, we'll open our preferences and switch to the basic view, a view designed for business users. From the home page, click the Create button on the Apps tile. Populate the fields and be sure to select the correct template that your new app will be based on. By leaving the Open in Designer box checked, we're immediately directed to App Designer. Now we can start creating the Mortgage Approval app. We're taken to the starting page, which is provided by the template. Let's add our own views to the app. To start, we need to capture customer information in the UI. We'll need a new data variable for the customer information. Under the customer form, let's add a decimal control for the mortgage amount and create a new data variable. Let's repeat this process for the customer's yearly income. To finish the first page of our app, let's create a button to submit for pre-approval. This button will use an action to determine whether a mortgage request is pre-approved upon submission, and that's based on business rules. The input data variables are already mapped for this action, but we'll need to create a new variable for the output data. Lastly, let's create a branch as the next step after clicking the button. One of the branches will direct to an auto-approved page, and we'll set the conditions, and the other will direct to a risk assessment page. And we'll just update the button style. There, the first page of our mortgage approval app is now complete. Let's look at the next page that we created when configuring the next action step. This is the auto approved page, which will use the credit department template. Let's add some display text to indicate that the mortgage is automatically approved. Now, we'll create a button to open the approved mortgage account. The mortgage amount is mapped, and we'll use a new variable called customer ID. Then, we'll choose to end the application. And we'll give this button a new look, And that page is done. Now, at the moment, the customer ID variable is not being populated by the app. So let's go back to the starting page. We'll add a plain text field, label it, and set the data mapping variable to customer ID. Let's also make things easy for the end user. To do that, we'll add a button, which we'll call the get customer ID action. Make sure the customer and customer ID variables are mapped. After the action is called, we'll stay on the current page. And we'll give that button a new look. All right, let's move to the last page of our app, the risk assessment page. This too will use the credit department template. We want to show the mortgage amount on this page. So let's use the Variable tab in the View Palette. Under the Mortgage Amount, let's add some Loan Risk Charts. To finish this page, we'll add two buttons. One that opens the Mortgage Account, and of course, end the application. Don't forget the button styling.
and the other button will decline the request and also end the application. All right, that looks good. Now let's return to the starting page and preview our app. For the name, enter Joe. Let's test the customer lookup logic. Looks good. All right, let's return to Studio. There's our app. Let's publish it. And that's it. The request is sent to an administrator who can deploy the app to production. And there you have it, the business user experience in IBM Business Automation Studio. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.